guys welcome back to my channel today I am bringing you information on the locker situation here at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure um, the lockers are paid for and free we're gonna break down where to use them how to use them and which one you possibly might need for your upcoming trip to Universal Studios let's go Okay, so the first set of lockers that you are going to want to look into if you have a larger bag is as you enter the park, you're going to make an immediate left. Over there, you will see a sign for restrooms and lockers, and it's actually towards the exit, so you're going to almost come in to almost go back out, which I know sounds silly, uh, but these are really great size lockers if you have an overly sized large bag that you just don't want to carry around all day they have options for large lockers that are twelve dollars for all day and they have family lockers fifteen dollars for all day okay so those extra big lockers are perfect if you like i said you have something that is an extra large overly sized backpack maybe a cooler with your lunch in it um, maybe you even want to go shopping first thing in the morning before all of the merchandise is taken up you know maybe you have like medication that you don't want to carry around with you in the park those are definitely super handy the other type of locker that they offer here are ride lockers we are actually going to head over towards men in black <laughs> So the way the lockers work at the ride attractions, like I said, they are completely free. And I will put the dimensions of those free lockers down in the description box below for you. I have a, I don't know, I guess I would say a medium sized backpack. Um, and it fits really nicely in there. The other thing that you can do is if you are with several people and everyone has their own tickets, annual passes, um, room cards, you can actually, if you have one really big bag, split the bag up and y'all can take one locker and it's free. Okay, so the rides that have those free lockers on Universal Studio side are Men in Black, The Mummy, Rip Ride Rocket, in Diagon Alley, they have Escape from Gringotts. These are all rides that offer free lockers, and if you have anything over the size of a fanny pack, um, you do need, you are required to put all loose articles into those free lockers. Um, they do offer, like I said, larger size lockers that are $2, and then as the day progresses, they will continue to charge you, so you do have to come back and get them. Don't forget your stuff. It's not free all day. Okay, so like I mentioned, those free lockers are over on Islands of Adventure side as well. These are necessary. You do need to use them if you have loose articles um, and you do not have anybody in your party that is not riding. Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure TM has free lockers. Forbidden Journey, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey has free lockers. The Hulk um, and Velocicoaster. Both of those, you actually walk through metal detectors, so not even your phone. Nothing can come on the ride. It is really important that you are making sure to get to those lockers. Also, 
if possible, give one person in your party all of your items for the entire party that you're traveling with because the lockers get very congested and it is just not a pretty situation sometimes when it is very crowded. Um, there's a lot of shoving and the, the, only because the lockers are very tight. They've made them that way specifically. So my best tip is to just send one person from your entire party into the locker situation. It will go much, much smoother. And like I said, you'll want to keep your park ticket with you so that you can reopen the locker when you are finished. All right, guys. I think that's it for our locker situation here at Universal. I hope this was really helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below and tell me, have you ever had experience with the locker situation at Universal? What did you think of it? All right, guys, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.